My name is Maria Luisa Seine Chaluce from the University of Zaragoza, and I'm going to present the work An Overview of Passive Students' Characteristics in collaboration with Ángel Fidalgo from the Technical University of Madrid and Francisco García Peñalvo from the University of Salamanca. The aim of this work is to confirm or reject that the target audience of active methodologies, I mean the passive learners, have common characteristics in any academic context. Why to do this study? If we find an agreement among different educational contexts about the characteristics of passive students, the consequence will be that the educational innovations, which are usually applied in specific subjects, can become global and be transferred to any other academic context. Why we choose this problem? It's evident that most of the educational innovations are applied in specific subjects, such as mathematics and the problems that we usually want to solve can be categorized in three types. The cold seat problem are, for example, the, to learn a specific topic, such as uh, equation solving. Seat problems give a local perspective and it makes the innovation only transferable between the same subjects. A branch problem, such as the lack of motivation, can have a local or even sectorial scope if this lack is produced by internal effects, such as the teacher behavior. But the root problem, such as the passivity of students, has a global scope and to solve this problem could help to other problems, increasing the motivation and improving the learning of specific topics. Our hypothesis is that the educational innovation can be designed on a worldwide scale for a broad segment of the targeted population although it's applied during its creation in a local context. The study presented in this work involved through a survey almost 500% participants in a MOOC about um, an active methodology, which is uh, flip teaching. Participants were from different Spanish-speaking countries and more than 60% were from Spain, Mexico and Ecuador. With respect to their professional profile, more than 80% of participants who filled out the survey were teachers from different levels, which with the students up to 12 years old, from 12 to 18 years old, vocational training and university teachers. 30 characteristics of passive students were collected from previous works and included uh, in this uh, survey from generic characteristics such as student shows a slow reaction to any stimulus to specific ones such as student attends tutorials only a few days before the exam. It can be observed in these tables with the items in color red and green that the two most highly valued uh, indicators among teachers of any academic fields and age of students are students only study a few days before exam and students only want to pass the, because they are not interested in learning. Most of them with an average uh, around uh, three points over two, four. On the other hand, excluding the teachers with students between four and 12 years old, with, uh, which show different indicators, the rest of teachers present the same four indicators between the five most valued. Therefore, for teachers with students from 12 years old and any academic context, there is a full coincidence for, for four of the five indicators, 80% of the total, which are the two mentioned previously and the two in news indicators. A student does not uh, do the, the activities if they don't, don't know uh, count in the in the final grade, and the student only shows interest in the topics that may appear on the exam. The final conclusion is that teachers from different countries, from different educational environments and with different cultures and teaching profiles agree in 80% of the indicators to define the profile of the target audience of this innovation, the passive students. Therefore, innovations aimed at achieving an active student can be approached from a global perspective, and it changes the local approach currently used in educational innovation. Thank you very much for your attention.